Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees, and we're going to show you how we are setting up our um, monitoring, our temperature and humidity monitoring setup within our beehives. Uh, we went online and we picked up uh, a few of these uh, Govi uh, temperature and humidity uh, Bluetooth units. And we're going to show you how we set them up first and then show you how we place them in the hives and, and what this will tell us. All right, so unboxing is pretty simple. They come in uh, a small little box. And, um, they have a little tab that needs to be pulled out. So we're gonna pull that out of the, of the goby. Doing this one-handed, so pretty simple. Um, now it's ready to be picked up, and as you can see here on the screen, this is uh, what it shows when it's looking for you to uh, select the setup. So you're going to select that, and you can change the name of it. We're naming these all um, by like a, a tag name of like Bohemia B1, Bohemia B2, Bohemia B3 through 4 and 5. So. Um, you can see we name, labeled that that, submitted, and it's that simple. It connects to it, and you're good to go. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, get these ready to be put out into the colonies so we can start to monitor the temperature and humidity inside our colonies. Hello, so now we are in the apiary, and we're going to go ahead and install the, the Govi temperature uh, humidity monitors that you see here inside these colonies. Okay, we have four active colonies from packages with a uh, barnyard bees queen, mated queen in it. They were all installed approximately two weeks ago and we didn't have the sensors then so we would have put them in when we first started but we just got them. So now we're gonna put them in the four colonies. We're gonna do a quick uh, observation inspection. We're not gonna to try to pull these apart. We're just gonna install the sensors and then we will uh, continue to allow these colonies to be monitored. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to install one of the sensors that you see here. This is a uh, sensor BB1, okay? So BB1 is going to be installed on the outside of the four hives, somewhere positioned in the middle, so that we can get a good sense. We're not gonna put it in direct sunlight so it doesn't show too much, but it gives enough airflow around the corner of the hive. You can see all the way around. The sun will come across and hit it at some point during the day, but it'll give us a, at least a consistent reading of what the outside temperature and moisture is around the proximity of these colonies. So we'll go ahead and install that one and then we'll open up the hive and install all the internal ones. Okay, so we're gonna take uh, the next sensor, which would be BB2, and we're going to put it in the colony. Um, the easiest way to do this is to put it on a frame that's not in the brood's nest, but near the brood's nest. So I can get a sense as to what's happening in there. Um, we can go ahead and pull out just a few of these lower ones. And I'll check to see where their uh, nest is at this point before I continue to keep pulling it out. Okay, so this frame right here is the bottom of their nest. Okay. And if you come in here, we can get a quick look and see what they are doing building comb out on five frames already so they're doing really well big big nest but the easiest way to do this is to hang this so that it doesn't get built so I'm gonna hang it not exactly on the frame after that they're building on okay I'm gonna hang it on the frame after that Okay, 
So it would be this frame right here, the seventh frame. I'll put that frame up here and I'll hang it directly in. So that sensor is hanging in the middle there. Um, if they start to build comb on it, I'll move it around a little bit, but it's gonna give me the temperature and the moisture in the center of the colony. It doesn't appear to be directly in front of that little entrance as well, so that won't, you know, hopefully it won't give it too much uh, fluctuation, but I think that's a good position for that. We'll go ahead and replace the frames and close it up. Key is that you're close to the nest but you're not in the nest because naturally the bees are going to make their own temperature in the center of the nest typically around 93 degrees to keep the brood consistent so you want to make sure that you get the ambient temperature inside the colony but not in the cluster so lock that up and now we'll move over to our our to our langstroth style Okay, for the Langstroth style, we're going to remove the top cover. And I have a screened inner cover here. Um, I had been feeding initially as I fed the other three colonies um, and the Langstroths as well, but they're through that jar of syrup now. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. We'll remove this top box because we don't need it any longer. bees off that cover. Make sure the queen's not on there. Again, I'm not doing a full inspection, but I do want to peek in here to make sure we still have an active queen. We've got resources in that frame. A beautiful draw of comb on this one. Beautiful draw of comb on this one. Another beautiful draw on this one. I haven't spotted my queen, but I see eggs and cells, so I know I have a queen, so I'm not worried. drawing out this frame put resources in it pollen nectar they're doing a great job pollen nectar on that side is where really the nectar so we'll flip that around i'm going to put another drawn frame in the middle because the key was to measure these exactly how the i apologize about the wind too now i get a lot of comments about that i can't control the wind i need an external mic Putting that, that in the middle. They have about five drawn frames, much like they have in the other colony, so they're progressing just about the same. What I'm doing here is I'm flipping the resources to the outside so that they draw it the other side of the frame. Okay? Now I need to put this lid back on. I need to grab my brush real quick. Now those are good. Now we're gonna take the screen inner cover. We have six frames in here. We'll take the screen inner cover. We'll slide it on with the upper entrance. 
And then I'm gonna take one of my monitoring ones. This will be BB3, okay, the third monitoring unit. And I'm gonna set it upside down with the hole facing the inside of the colony, okay? So it can see where it's, lo it's at. It can measure the center of the colony. Put my lid back on. And we're gonna to move to the next colony now. Okay, so now we're on the third test colony. It is another colony keeper. So we're opening this one up. They were built out to the sixth frame or the fifth frame last time. So we're gonna see what this looks like as we get further down. I'm gonna pull where I think they're at. That's the bottom of the nest for these guys. So they have four drawn. The other had, I believe, five drawn, and we put it on this. We hooked it on the seventh, just below the door. So I'm going to hook it in the same place so we can get the same ambient temperature between the two colony keeper hives as well. But you can see they've built their nest out here at the fourth frame down. Big colony. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the measurement sensor in there. They're bringing pollen in, which means they have brood. They've got nectar stores, uh, likely a, a mated queen in here as well. So that was when we installed it before. But let's go ahead and put the sensor on. This will be sensor BB4, okay? And remember, we put it on the seventh one down. One, two, three, four. We'll put this one back. Five, six, and seven. So we're gonna hang that in there. We'll replace our other frames. Okay. All right. So we're gonna close this colony up and move over to the Langstroth, the fourth and final test colony. Okay, so we're moving over to the last and final one. Take our lid off. Screen inner cover, we'll use that. They finished their syrup. We'll remove that. We're gonna remove this top box. The inner cover. Brush off the bees. Let's take a look at what they're doing in here. They only have about four frames built out. But the one good thing is they've got this one side now, interestingly enough, in this one, they build a queen cell. Hmm, right there. Let's see if we can locate our queen. In the double here. In their cluster.
We're just starting to build out comb. Lots of bees. So this one is a little bit further behind than the other ones, but it's got lots of bees. They're building out comb. Uh, they got a queen cell, so I'm going to watch this in a few days, come back and look at um, what they have going on, why they didn't accept that initial queen and why they replaced it. And um, it's interesting, interesting. so we'll check on that. But for the purpose of the test, we're going to put our screen inner cover on. This will be the last sensor, BB5. We'll do the same thing we did on the other one. Put it in the center, in the middle, place our lid, and we're good to go. All right, so that's what we have. We've got the uh, four test colonies that we have set up here now with four sensors in them. And if you look here, over to the right here, we're going to show the monitoring, a screenshot of each one of them as we go along. So now that they've had a few minutes to be centered in the hive we're going to go ahead and uh and check the outside temperature and then the four hive tests to see where they're at as a temperature and humidity and then we'll check in on it and monitor it okay so the current temperatures in the colonies as they've kind of settled in are as follows we've got the outside temperature which is in the middle being this that would be bb1 colony keeper number one is BB2. Langstroth number one is BB3. Colony keeper number two is BB4. And colony Langstroth hive number four or two is BB5. Okay, so that's our temperatures. We'll watch this for the duration of our test, monitor it daily, and make sure that we are seeing any differences, let you know, so let you see what we see, and we'll report back if we can. Uh, look for our future videos related to our test that we're doing here with the Colony Keeper and Langstroth here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. Uh, we like to do these kind of uh, tests to understand be more about bees, how they operate um, in, with various different hive types and techniques that different beekeepers do. So we love to experiment and be inventive. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you like what we uh, do here at the Bohemia Apiary, if you like bees, if you like to save the bees, if you like honey, um, please uh, check us out on Facebook, uh, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, as well as YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the alerts button so you are alerted when we do uh, new videos on new things that we do. We've got a growing apiary here. This is a one of our yards. We have two yards similar to this in size, so we're running about 40-some plus colonies and we love doing tests. We love learning about the bees. Uh, check out our, our store online at www.bohemiabees.com. Uh, um, we have a online store where you can buy all sorts of cool stuff, uh, bee related. If you wanna support us, that would be really, really helpful. If you go online, buy a t-shirt, buy a face mask, buy a pair of socks. We got some really cool custom stuff that's just specific to Bohemia Bees. If you're a supporter of Bohemia Bees, you should have a piece of Bohemia Bee merchandise. As my daughter and son will call it, merch. You gotta get your merch. So go online, make sure you uh, buy a piece of merch if you can't support us in any other way and show us that you support Bohemia Apiary and what we do here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland to learn about the bees, grow with the bees and share our experiences with you and the community. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great Sunday afternoon and uh, enjoy watching the bees. Remember, here at Bohemia Apiary, beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession.